going to show you how to use the Alaris IV pump. And we've already powered it on by putting the systems on button right here and just holding that down for a few seconds because it takes a while to turn on. So first thing the Alaris pump does is it asks you, do you have a new patient? And we're going to go ahead with yes. And you go with yes with these buttons on the side. And then the screen will let you know what to do. So we'll go with patient ID entry. I'm picking A and then B. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what is that? The patient's That's just ID? Our patient ID number. That's what you're going to find on the armband. And we'll confirm that. I have an option to exit, confirm, or page down. So we'll confirm. And then it asks you, is this critical care? We will say yes. And now we have the brain and the two pumps, A and B. So we have here um, pump A, we're going to start a normal saline solution running at 50 milliliters per hour. So we'll um, pick channel select for um, pump A. And we'll do, it says Guardrail's Drug Library. Guardrail's Drug Library is a place where you can look for a drug, whatever you're going to give, and pick your rate and everything, and it'll be specific for that drug. We're just going to do a basic infusion. So we hit that button right there. And it asks for the rates and volume to be infused. And the rate we said would be 50 milliliters per hour. And then we have a volume to be infused button. And these become highlighted as you press on the side key. So I press on the side key, VTBI, volume to be infused. And it says how many milliliters, and we'll pick 400. By picking 400 out of a 500 milliliter bag, I know that I'll have a beep when it gets down to 100 milliliters. It gives me time to run into the med room and get another IV and hang it. Okay, so now we're going to want to start that, but first we have to get our tubing in the pump. This is the silence button, and that's a really good one to know where it is, especially when you're getting started. We go ahead and flip this up right here, and our door opens. Can you do it again? I didn't see that. Sure. Shut it here. Okay. So here's our pump. We just flip it up at the bottom, and it flips open. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a blue protective covering. This part of our tubing, we'll take this off now, is very sensitive, and it's like bungee. You can pull it. You don't want to be playing with it. So you just take it off when you're ready to put this in the pump. This right here goes right on top. And this is like a little card. This goes right into the bottom here. And then you're going to close the door because it's going to be beeping at you really loud. That's what you do. There you go. And that's how you put the IV tubing in. It's not too bad. So now it's telling me to press start. It's going, you've given me all your information. Go ahead and start. So I push the start button, and that's on the bottom there. Right here, now it's checking the line, and you can just read across what it's saying. It's checking to make sure everything's okay, and what it's doing is reading that part that we put in here, too. And they're very sensitive to air bubbles. And it's saying included. So this is another good learning experience, because you always need to make sure that you roll the clamp up. And restart. And restarts the bottom button on here. Now you have your green light. So you've gotten to see what it's like when you're occluded. So if a patient bends their elbow or something like that and you get a, a occluded sign, that's what it's going to look like. But green means everything's going good. Everything's open here. And you're ready to leave the room. You can also watch the, um, the drips fall from your bag into the chamber here. And that's another way you can tell your pump is ready. Okay. So now, what if the doctor orders a piggyback? Oh, if the doctor orders a piggyback, we can attach that onto what we have running here. So um, right here I have Leviquin. This is an antibiotic that we're going to hang along with the patient's normal IV. So I can just um, see here. I'm going to open up the piggyback tubing. Can I see it? Sure. This right here is a latex-free secondary set. You need secondary tubing for a piggyback. Okay. And 
I'll just go ahead and re-spike and everything for this one. So here's our bag of Leviquin, and you'll just pull off the stopper, and then here's your new tubing. And then you want to check with your hospital policy how long tubing is good for at your institution. So I go ahead and roll the clamp shut, take this off of the spike, the spikes are very sharp, put it into the bag, and just back and forth until it goes all the way down. So now I want to perm this tubing, and I'll put it over the trash can and open up my line. let the solution run through until the air bubbles are out. You might have to put the tubing down a little bit low. There, there you there go. go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there it goes. We'll roll the clamp shut. And we always need our main IV bag to hang below our secondary tubing. Where would I find that plastic? This is right inside your tubing set. Okay, for secondary. So for secondary. Mm -hmm. So we'll hang our AV bag here, and the secondary you want above. And that's just how this tubing system works. Um, as long as this is higher, your secondary will run until it's finished, and then pick up where you left off with your regular infusion. When you hang the bags, it's really nice if you would face the label towards the room so when we walk in we know what's hanging, correct? Yeah, that's always a really good idea. Right now we have the Leviquin and the normal uh, chloride, sodium chloride. Okay. okay. So now we're ready to program our secondary um, our secondary line, which is our um, piggyback. So we have two channels. On the Alaris pump, you put channel select because we want to choose channel A. And then we have um, our rate and everything, and our rate and volume to be infused. But we're adding a secondary. At the bottom, you have options. One is pause, volume duration, secondary, and start. So since we're adding a secondary line, push for secondary. And then we'll pick our rate and it's been ordered at 100 mils. And the volume to be infused is 100 mils. So we're going 100 mils per hour and 100 mils of solution. Okay, and then it's gonna ask us to start. So what do we need to do is clean the port always before we attach. So this is gonna be where our secondary tubing goes. That's the end of your secondary tubing. Or, sorry, this is the end of our primary tubing. Oh, primary tubing? Sorry about that. And then we're going to add the secondary tubing into that. And just take off the end. Right here. And you screw it on. Okay, so now your piggyback is all set up. Everything's ready. You've got your rate in. And you'll just push start. Now it's telling us that our secondary tubing or secondary piggyback is going at 100 mils per hour. Excellent. But it says A. Right. Um, this is the um, pump A, and your primary line is hooked up to is pump hooked A. up right here. Mm -hmm. And what, what the secondary tubing does is by programming it in and hooking it up and leaving it higher than the primary line, um, the computer knows. And we don't know how, and I've asked people. <laughs> the computer knows to take this solution until it's done, until you reach your 100 mils. And then it automatically converts back to your regular line. Correct. At mm -hmm. the automatically. Power, just mm -hmm. exactly what we had ordered before. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah.